Do you struggle to choose which EDM festival to go to in 2019? Do you browse Pinterest looking for outfit inspo for a festival that you haven't even bought tickets for yet? Do you see your Instagram feed filled with people at festivals and have so much FOMO that you end up listening to concert live streams while wearing your unicorn onesie pretending you were there? Do you look at old photos and videos from past festivals and start crying because you miss the plur life? Well, not this time, Turkey Crew. We got camping raves, international raves, naked raves, and art raves. Because in this episode, we'll be going over the top five EDM festivals for 2019. And if you're new here, I'm Athena. And I'm Heather. And we're the Two, two Traveling, Traveling Turkeys. Turkeys. And we are your go-to guide for everything travel and festival tips, vlogs, and inspiration. All right, so this video is actually part of an ongoing series we're doing for EDM festival tips. And in this video, we created a list of the coolest raves from around the planet. Yes, but before we get started, be sure if you like raves, be sure to hit that thumbs up button because you know you like it and share with your rave crew. All right, and if you're serious about dancing your face off, then shuffle your ass over to the subscribe button because we're gonna be releasing a bunch of other videos about festival tips in the future and you don't wanna miss out on those. Exactly, you don't. But if you have some questions or tips about festivals, be sure to leave that in the comments below. All right, now listen up. These are the top five EDM festivals that you wanna go to in 2019, so let's go. Bounce on the dance floor. is Beyond Wonderland and that is in San Bernardino in California and it's around March time. The theme there is kind of as it sounds, Alice in Wonderland. Some of you may know that story. Um, so it's actually a really cool themed festival. You'll see a lot of people dress up in Alice in Wonderland characters and it is so much fun to see all of the amazing stages and all the decorations that they do because it's just beautiful and super fun. It's kind of like you're in Alice Through the Looking Glass, so wild and crazy. What you can expect there besides you know the amazing theme is a really cool crowd. Um, they're really chill. Everyone gets along perfectly well and they'll help you anything you need. I mean, that's generally the rape culture, but um, we've always had really good experiences at Beyond Wonderland. And again, great weather. I mean, you can't beat California, right? So you'll have a great time partying, part, partying. There we go, partying, I can say that word. Enjoying everything it has to offer. But make sure you bring those rave costumes with you because let me tell you, you will enjoy it so much if you're dressed in one of the amazing Alice outfits. <laughs> All right, so next up is Burning Man. Now you've probably already heard of Burning Man, right? It's this huge art festival in the middle of the desert in Black Rock City, Nevada. And it happens at the last weekend of August. So what's there at Burning Man? Tons of amazing stuff, okay? What's actually really cool about it is it's basically like they create this entire city and then at the end of it, they don't leave any trace of that city. You would literally have to pick up every piece of trash that you have there. And when you're actually there, it's more of a community. So basically every camp provides some free things that they give as donation to the community. So like on one day they'll be having a party for like a Whitney Houston party. And then they have all these free drinks and everything like that. That's one camp. And then another camp might be giving out French fries and hugs or, or, French, or French fries and like, um, um, water bottles and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then they have tons of these DJs playing at different like secret locations. You really have to be like in the know for that, but it's so cool. And you also can just like be your freest, nakedest self, up to you. So next up is EDC Las Vegas. Now, as I said, it's in Las Vegas and it's in May. One thing about EDC is it's become this gigantic festival. More and more people go every year because it is so amazing and you can't miss out on this experience because what they have is 
again, a lot of visuals that you just blow your mind. And they have these little micro experiences all over the place. And trust me, the things you could see there, the costumes that you'll see, and you have to dress up too because it is amazing. Do the theme stuff, like create a theme with your friends, you know, like, I don't know, superheroes or something like that and go because you could do anything you want there. And the stages are awesome. And the music, the DJs are what's up, okay? I mean, you just can't get enough of the DJs. It's almost difficult to see them all because there's so many great ones. So that is something, if you are really into EDM music, that is the one to go to for sure. Okay, and if you wanna learn more about EDC, you could check out our whole series all about it in the links below. All right, so number two is Electric Forest. It's in Rothbury, Michigan, and it's at the end of June. Now, Electric Forest is literally one of the most magical raves you've ever been to in your entire life, okay? I mean, it's a rave in a forest. How can you like get more magical than that? It's literally like fairies should be coming out of the woodworks, all right? It's, it's insane, okay? It's like when you walk into the forest, you literally get chills because it is so incredibly beautiful. And they have all types of music there. It's not just EDM, which is kind of great because sometimes like for us, we want to have a little break or, you know, it's nice to hear a little bit of different music sometimes as well. And they're all about these micro experiences. Like this one time we were like, got massaged by Rosie the Riveter or a male woman came up to my friend and gave her a letter because she was wearing gold and the letter said to the woman in gold. I mean, it's incredible and you definitely, definitely have to check it out. It's a camping rave, so be sure to pack and prepare for that. Okay, and the final festival is Tomorrowland. It's located in Boom in Belgium in July. There is so much I could say about this festival, first off. By far, one of the best festivals in the world to go to. It is absolutely amazing. There is so much there. I mean, they have a dragon in the water, okay? And when I say dragon, I'm not talking like a little, oh, little dragon. No, 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 it was like real life, like if dragons were real, you know? This was a real dragon in the water, okay? And it had like little fire things coming out of its mouth. I mean, it was so cool. And that's just one thing. There is tons of things there to see and do. And the food, actually they have really good food there for a festival, but uh, yeah. And again, costumes, you can dress up. I mean, it's just, I could go on and on about it. The music, they have so much music, so many stages. There's like bridges, you can walk across the water on the bridge and stuff. They have things you'll never see at any other festival, okay? Any other, other than that one. So if you're like trying to think, hey, I can only go to one festival this year, go there, okay? You will have the time of your life. It's amazing. So which one of those festivals are you dying to go to? Or are you going to one already? Let us know in the comments below because we definitely wanna hear about it. Yeah, and if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe because we are gonna be putting out a ton more videos like this. So till next time, Turkey Crew, we out. up is Beyond Wonderland and that is in San Bernardino, California. San Bernardino, San, hold on, I can't even say the word. And if you're interested to learn about more, uh, no, no, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know.